Hey, I'm Mark Given, America's leading authority on identifying and achieving your priorities, and you're watching Mark's Minute. The lesson of the lawnmower. Recently, I rose especially early to begin a day full of spring yard work. It was a perfect morning with a beautiful sky, just the right temperature and a dusting of pollen reminding us that all is new again. About 9 a.m., my nine-year-old grandson Lee came from his home next door to ask if he could help. What a terrific kid. For a moment, I pondered what would be an appropriate responsibility, and then the leadership brain kicked in. I excused myself for a couple of minutes and asked his mother if she would allow him to drive the lawn tractor. She said yes, so off we go. At first, I walked behind Lee, holding onto the back of the mower seat, just in case he needed a quicker hand. My mower has an automatic clutch, so braking or slowing is an easy task without utilizing or having to reach the brake pedal. After four or five passes around our large side yard, I let go and just watched as he determined his own path. I was within emergency distance, of course. I have to admit that he drove a little bit like he'd been sipping, well, more like chugging from the cider jug. Lee was all over the yard, no symmetry, no consistency, just enjoying the ride. It took him a while, but the job was done. Not exactly with the efficiency I would have completed the work, but done nonetheless. Finished. Nice job. The principle, focused leaders always seek opportunities to train others and replace themselves. It may be hard to let go, and you may likely be able to complete the task faster or with more skill. But you and I also had to learn through doing. Great leaders teach, not tell. I'm striving to be one of those leaders. I'm hoping you're making it a priority in your life as well. So, thanks for watching. You can also read years of Mark's Minutes on my blog at markgiven.com. Have a great day.